All right, guys, we are at Audio Vice Live 2023. We are in the Massimo room. Now, that might not sound like a familiar brand, but this brand has a lot of brands under them, including in here we have Denon Definitive Technology, not Def Tech. And we've just got a host of awesome products in here. That's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. Hey folks, I'm Gene Delicella with AudioHawks. We're here with Peter. How are you doing, my friend? I'm doing excellent. Awesome. So we just heard some great demos in here. We listened to Ghostbusters, Afterlife. We listened to Godzilla, the, the second movie, I think it was from the yep, new Yes, Godzilla vs. Kong. Right. And it was a great experience we had in here. There's a lot of speakers in this room. I think there's, what, 15 speakers and four subwoofers? Yep, absolutely. So we're running a 9.4.6 system, all all definitive technology. Um, so we're using our new Dimension Series speakers. So up in the front, we have our DM80s, which are bipolar speakers. If you're not familiar with bipolar, it actually has audio going forward and going backward. And what that's going to do is not only be f directional door towards the seat listener, but it's also going to be producing audio outward, which gives you a really, really big sound stage. We also incorporated heights in height modules into our uh, pillars that we have here, which are acting as our Atmos speakers. So this also shows you that you don't always have to install speakers directly above you in your ceiling or in your wall. You can simply put them above you, have them curled in, and it, you're still going to get that Atmos experience. And then we have four 15-inch subs running around in each corner of the room. And this is all being powered by our Denon A1H uh, AMP AVR. That's a beast of a receiver. So this goes back to the old days of Denon when you had the super receiver. I really like this receiver. It's, it weighs wide, like 70 pounds. It's quite heavy. We uh, it, it always is two people to pick it up. That's for sure. We don't want to hurt anyone's back. So this receiver, as you guys know, we covered it. It's got four independent subwoofer for outputs for directional base, <laughs> which is a new feature that you guys have. Yeah. It's 150 watts times 15, but it gives you that guarantee, the 70% guarantee of 105 watts times nine channels driven at the same time. You're basically getting almost all the wall current from one box in an AVR. And this room was filled with uncompressed, really clean sound. It sounded like we were listening to separates. Oh yeah, absolutely. The, the Denon is an absolute monster. It's, it's fantastic. Not only is it full of detail, but it's also full of power. And so it's great for a home theater system. It's something that you can grow into. You know, a lot of times people are like 15 speakers. That's insane. How could I put that? How could I do that all at once? You don't have to do that one. You could start it at a five point one system and then grow it over time. And it, and that AVR is really going to be able to handle all that as you grow into your system and build and add an all add on, add on, add on. So I'm a little curious about some of the configuration here. First of all, this is one of the only systems that we heard so far that actually employed wide channels. Yes. So that that we really wanted to show what we wanted to maximize what we can do with our Dan ADR. And so showing off wide, showing off surrounds as well as surround backs. Um, that's kind of what we've been showing off. And, you know, it, it confuses a lot of people because they're like, oh, are these just double fronts? It's like, no, these are actually the wides. And a lot of times people realize, don't realize that, the more speakers you add isn't the louder it's going to be. It's actually the more detail you're going to get. Because we use object-based decoding, you're able to get a lot more detail on where things should be in the room and how it's moving throughout the room. So the more speakers you add, the more detail you're actually going to hear throughout the system because the speakers can be able to handle just what it's supposed to do and not have to blend more and more and more. So I want to ask you about these massive subwoofers. you got four subs in this room. What's in this box? Yeah, so these are the Descend uh, DN15. So they're 15 inch subs. They have two passive radiators and one active sub. So you're it's essentially three subs in one box, but one being active. And it really, really is room filling just by itself. But we decided to put four in each room. Not only that, I didn't really mention, but the Dimension speakers, all the tower speakers actually have active subs in them as well. So you could technically say that this has... 14 subs in the whole room, but most of that power is going to be coming from the the the, sub, the 15 inch subs in each corner. And so that's what we're using. So I'm curious how you got this whole system integrated because I know Denon has both uh, Dirac and Odyssey. Yes, integrated into absolutely. It. So Odyssey is a fantastic piece that we use and we, we really expect the majority of our customers. That's what we recommend. And majority of our customers are very satisfied with Odyssey. 
a lot of customers and a lot of clients wanted to have a lot more detail or a lot more control over their system. And so we incorporated direct live into our new system. And so being able to have that subscription ability and get even more detail and more in, into the you know weeds of what, what I want to hear, what frequencies, where we want the crossover points, that's what we've been able to do. And so this room was actually uh, calibrated with direct live. Yeah. Well, I can tell you guys it was a great experience. And you guys know that I've ran my system. I have the Marantz separates, the AV10 and AMP10. I got great results with Odyssey Multi QX Pro with a separate calibration kit. You guys could check out the video that I did on that. But overall, I really enjoyed this system. Now, if someone wants to put together this system, now AudioVice sells all the products that are in here. How much is this whole system? I thought I heard them say it was between 30 to 40 grand. So it is. it comes in right about $36,000, and that's just for all audio. So that is all nine tower speakers. That's four subs and the six heights as well as the Denon A1H. I mean, there's people that spend more money than uh, than that on cables. So that's and that, that's for sure. Even a power cable can be can get up to that price point. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate you dropping all the knowledge in here, guys. Check this out. Check this system out. We have a review, a written review coming on the Dimension series really soon that you that you should check out. We're going to be dropping that. If you like this video, please hit the thumb up, hit the subscribe. Don't forget about our Patreon channel at Patreon.com/slash/AudioHawks. We appreciate your support. You get direct access to me. And until next time, my friends, keep listening.